Hey guys, Adam here with Whitetail Kings. Thanks for stopping in at the page today. So today I just want to show you how to take the Hawk Helium stick, the original 30 incher, and turn it to into the modified 22 inch Hawk Helium stick with the Lone Wolf Versa button and the Lone Wolf strap. A few items that you're going to need. Number one, safety glasses. We will be drilling with metal. Um, the worst thing in the world, honestly, is to get a piece of scrap metal in your eye. So when you're doing this, please wear your safety glasses. Next thing you're going to need, you're going to need a 7 16th wrench and a metric number 10 wrench. You're going to want to get a 2x4. You're also, going to, you're also going to need a strip of cardboard. You want some kind of a vise. You'll need a file at the end. You'll make sure you have a good, powerful drill. Possibly may need a hammer, so just get it out in case you need it. And also your square for measuring. You're gonna need an Allen wrench. Your Lone Wolf Versa buttons. You can order these right off of Lone Wolf's website. They come in just a few days. Um, they have them, I think they're $5 a piece, five or $6 a piece. And I think I already said it, but lastly, you're gonna need your sticks. So for now, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble the clip button Clip screw, I'm going to need an Allen wrench. I'm going to need a 10 metric wrench. The next step, we're going to take off our bolts from our steps with our Allen wrench and our number 10 wrench. Be careful not to lose these rubber washers that are on the inside of the steps. They're a vital portion to the pivoting of the step and the tightness that the step will have once you put them back together. After you have your middle steps out, the next step, you're gonna take out these two bolts here on the bottom for your bottom steps. Your tree bracket bolt, take that out. And then you're going to take your cardboard and just make, make a jig to where you can actually place it on those holes. You do it this way, or you can measure precisely exactly how far you have to go out. But this works just fine. You make that jig, and then after you're done measuring, where we're going to put these. You line everything up and then you mark it. Since I already have my jig made up, I'm gonna leave this so I can have this as a, as a step when I'm completed. I'm gonna take this bracket off and then I'm gonna measure 22 and 3 quarters inches. Then I'm gonna put the jig on and we're gonna mark it and drill it. Make sure you get a pen that works. I want to make sure this level side, I took a perfectly straight piece of cardboard sure that's all level you can even clamp this down so you're marking 
markings. I am going to remove this bottom, this bottom bracket right now. There's two washers that go with this one. Make sure you don't lose those. I always like to put everything back together when I sit it down just because I need to do that because my ADD will just take over. Okay, the next step, we're going to get our 2 by 4 is ready to go. I always tell myself it's important to have a clean work area. It's difficult to do sometimes. Okay, before I even cut them off, I like to drill first. So, take this clamp Clamp her down good. Try to get it like right in the center too, because this is cast aluminum, and if you clamp too tight, you could potentially bend it. And we don't want to do that. Just need enough. Now I have a quarter inch drill bit. I usually, I, I like to start with a smaller drill bit just in case I do go a little bit, get a little bit off. So I'm gonna do that. Take this drill bit out. I'm gonna go with the next size down, probably a, uh, oh, like 7.30 seconds. This is an old school drill. It's pretty awesome. This is a Cornelius Fox Special. Probably got it from Keystone back in the day. All you Keystone Carboners. All right, here we go. We're gonna start out. Make sure you put on your safety glasses. We're gonna put those in my hat. I'm gonna bring this light down just so I have a little more light. So it's important you got me gonna use the bottom one first. Try to stay right in the center. Get a good starting point. Just off a hair. Angle back a little more. There we go. Now I'm dead center. Perfect. I think. That's where we want right there. bit off it's the hardest part this part here there's a little bit of play in these brackets though so you can be you can be a little bit off and it'll pull it back in we're gonna get it we're gonna just kind of correct this I'm 
bird out a little bit. I gotta pull it back towards me a little. I think that'll, I think that'll be okay. Okay, the next one. So I usually I do one at a time here. Um, I'll come in. I'll get you nice and close here so you can really see it. I'm going to get right on top of this. See, last time I just was a little bit too far in. So what I'll do here. This is a good little tip. Take a, take a smaller one right where you want it to be. So I'll go back in and put that jig on. Sure we had. This little jig, get it in there. Get lined up nice and perfect. Take this hammer. That's way too far inside. See how off it is? So this is why it's sometimes you gotta go back and play with it. Make sure that all your things are lined up because should have been down here more. There it is. That's what we want. Right there. And then we tap that one. And then come over here. And then tap this one. Okay. I'm gonna drill them out. Try to be straight up and down with a hand drill. I don't have a drill press, so this is redneck. Redneck uh coordination. Make sure we're nice and level here. As soon as you break through, kind of give it a give it a rest and back it out. You want to make sure that you're good. We're good. We're straight down. Perfect. All right, here we go. Yeah. As soon as you see the wood chips fly, you know you got through. Okay, now we're gonna go with our second step. So one thing I did on my last stick, I did, I wanted, I kinda was off a little bit, so I wanted to make sure I'm square. Well, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna get right in the center of that sucker. Pretty good. I did tap that nice and it should be square. We give that a, one more little tap because that's pretty much right where we want it. Feel that little groove in there. Just check it real quick. Beautiful. About there, center. I mean, you can be off a hair, it's not going to matter. They're independent steps. So, if you're off a little bit, that's okay.
Okay, we're gonna take our chuck because look at this. These bolts. So that's my small. I took a smaller drill just to get it started. But these bolts will not fit through there. Won't fit. Too tight. I need to... So here's why we go 22 and three quarters instead of 22. When you go to 22, right to here, about, these holes will end up being right against this. And there's not a lot left, lot, lot, lot left there before that step just goes, when this thing cams over, or, or folds over, okay, it's in here like this, right? So if you have it in here, you got all this meat here, that it's gonna, all that pressure is pushing up against this. If I have it all the way up into here, well, I don't have a lot to, so that, that might bolt out and then, look at that. You know, there's a, there's no YouTube video out there that a guy explained it pretty good. He said, uh, you might have Christmas ornaments on the next step down, if you know what I mean. We don't want that. So we just want to go easy. So now we'll assemble the two steps in the bottom bracket. Do the bottom bracket first. Fits like a glove. So see how I, was, I said I was a little bit off? There's a tiny bit of play, which is good, so you can be a little bit off-center, but we don't want to be off-center. But if it happens, it's okay. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so these steps, move this back here. These little washers, the plastic ones, these guys, they're buggers. So, what we're going to do, we're going to try to feed them in there. See, this one kind of already sits in there. It's got a little groove on it. I'm going to set it in there like that, push it in. This one doesn't. So maybe I'll do it on the bottom one. Set that groove in there. Try to push this one in too. Oh, this one went on nice. Okay. Sometimes you got to play with it to get it through. You gotta screw it down in. Make sure you don't put the step on upside down either. It can be easy to screw up sometimes. Don't torque your allens too much. Give that torque on the bottom wrench. So this, see that nice, it takes some force to put it in, beautiful. Now we'll go to the other side. Same thing. See, 
See if we can get that lucky. Usually those washers don't, they're never that easy. Step. So this washer's got a groove. Yes, it does. Right on the bottom. We'll do that again. Worked for us last time. Let's try it this time too. Slide it in there. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do, well the second last thing, major thing, is we're gonna open up this hole a little more and we're gonna put our lone wolf versa button in. I recommend putting in the washers. The Lone Wolf Versa button will not come with the washer. So you got two metal washers, put one on the inside, one on the front side, one on the back side. Finally, the last thing we are actually gonna do, take your chop saw or your hacksaw, right where you had the 23 or 22 and three quarters, cut it off. It shouldn't take too much. You can do it by hand pretty easily. Add your strap, and you're ready to rock. So this last step, this is where you're gonna take your file after you just cut it down. And you're just gonna go in there and kind of file off the burrs. Catch a shoelace or something on this. Catch a bag, something on your bag. So there you have it. Your Hawk Helium 22 inch stick. It's got your Lone Wolf Versa button. Has your Lone Wolf strap. It'll stack up nice in your backpack. Add an eight or to it and get another uh, 10 feet out of it, out of two of them. And it's definitely probably the lightest stick out there. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helps some of you out there. If you have any questions, comments, please comment below. Um, if you see anything that you didn't like, I lo I'd love your input. And if you would, please hit that subscribe button. You thought it was a good video and you want to see some more videos in the future. I really appreciate it. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time.